वेलकम टू क्लास स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी डिस्कस प्रोसीजरल कंटिन्यूस असाइनमेंट्स एंड ऑल्सो वी सी द एग्जाम्पल कोड सिमुलेशन विथ जाइलिंग सिंथिस टू एक्स एस टी प्रोसीजरल कंटिन्यूस असाइनमेंट्स प्रोसीजरल असाइनमेंट्स असाइन अ वैल्यू टू अ रजिस्टर द वैल्यू स्टेज इन द रजिस्टर अंटिल अनदर प्रोसीजरल असाइनमेंट पुट्स another value in that register procedural continuous assignments behave differently they are procedural statements which allow values of expression to be driven continuously on to registers or nets for a limited periods of time procedural continuous assignments override existing assignments to a register or net they provide an useful extension to the regular procedural assignment statement assign and deassign the keywords assign and deassign are used to express the first type of procedural continuous assignment the left hand side of the procedural continuous assignments can be only be a register or a concatenation of registers it cannot be a part or bit select of a net or any or an array of registers procedural continuous assignments override the effect of regular procedural assignments procedural continuous assignments are normally used for controlled periods of time we'll see one example negative edge triggered d flip flop with reset Q and Q bar are the output. They are redefined as register. Output Q, Q bar, register Q, Q bar. D clock and reset are the input. So D clock and reset are the inputs. So how flip-flop code we are written is uh, so at negative edge of the clock, value of D is assigned to Q, and not of D is assigned to Q bar. A normal operation. in this example we want to see the usage of assign and deassign so at always at a reset here you are checking if reset is 1 or reset is high in that case assign q with 0 q bar with 1 else even reset is 0 deassign q and deassign q bar so when reset is 1 q is assigned with 0 q bar with 1 when when reset is low in that case we are doing so uh, remove the overriding values by d assigning the registers after this regular assignments q equal to d q bar equal to not of t will be able to change the registers on the next negative edge of the clock so we'll try to simulate this code and we'll see the results now if you observe the code so the same code uh, we have uh, i have typed here module edge d flip flop q q bar d clock reset q q bar d clock reset are the inputs output is redefined as a register q and q bar because we are going to assign value within always statement always at negative edge of the clock begin q equal to d q bar equal to not of t so this is a normal operation of d flip flop on every negative edge of the clock d value is assigned to q not of d value is assigned to q bar always at reset if reset value is high here you are continuously monitoring reset signal if reset is high in that case assign q with 0 q bar with 1 else d assign q d assign q bar so when reset is 0 uh, it will be a, a over it will get the value q equal to d q bar equal to not of t i have simulated this code and we have got results we try to analyze the results that we have got if you observe clock
if you observe the output that we have got after simulation and assigning values here you can see when reset uh, total duration total simulation duration is 1000 microsecond us refers to microsecond uh, so total simulation time is 1000 microsecond and reset remains high for 500 microsecond and then it becomes low so at this instant when reset is 1 so assigned values for q and q bar if you observe assigned values will be q will get the value 0 q bar will value get 1 so d value will not be assigned to q and q bar when reset is high clock is also continuously changing on negative edge of the clock value should be assigned when reset goes low when reset goes low you can observe d value here at this instant d value is 1 and clock value is changing from clock value is changing from 1 to 0 on negative edge if you observe d value is 1 that you are getting at the output when reset is low it behaves like a normal <coughs> flip flop q and q bar will get value of d and not of t complementer on negative edge again next negative edge value is d value is 0 so q will get well, uh, it will get 0 on next negative edge again q uh, d value is 1 so q will, will be 1 q bar will be complement of q so as expected we have got the uh, result In the example, we override the assignment on Q and Q bar and assign new values to them when the reset signal went high. The register variables retain the continuously assigned value after the D assign until they are changed by further procedural assignment. The assign and D assign constructs are now considered to be a bad coding style and it is recommended that alternative styles be used in Verilog HDL code. If I summarize once again, now this example code we are considered to understand assign and T assign. I am summarizing once again. So till this point it behaves like a flip flop and you only reset part you check. When reset is high you are assigning Q with 0, Q bar with 1. When reset is low, in that case you are D assigning, D assign Q and D assign Q bar you are written. So when reset is low, D assign Q and Q bar means previous values. When reset is 1, the values assigned will be 0, 1, those are reassigned. Now Q and Q bar will get values of, uh, uh, values of D and not of D. Q will get value of D, Q bar will get value of not of D. What we have observed in the simulation is, so when reset is low, in that case it behaves like a flip flop, when reset is high, uh, so assigned values are at the output. Okay students, uh, we will continue in next class.